morning. I'm Charles Lejano. This is One News Now. Three barangays in the city of Manila will be placed under 48-hour lockdown due to the increasing number of COVID-19 cases. JC Cosico reports to us live from Tondo. JC, Manila, the latest to impose additional restrictions. Which barangays uh, in Manila are we talking about? Yes, Charles, in a bid to control the spread of COVID-19, three barangays here in Manila will be placed under a hard 48-hour lockdown beginning tomorrow. These are Barangay 60 Zone 5, Barangay 163 Zone 14, and Barangay 844 Zone 92. In an executive order, Manila Mayor Isco Moreno says the imposition of the lockdown was requested by village officials. There are currently 10 COVID-19 cases in Barangay 60 Zone 5, 22 in Barangay 163 Zone 14, and two cases in Barangay 844 Zone 92. The 48-hour lockdown will last until 11.59 p.m. on Saturday, June 20. Among those exempted from the hard lockdown are healthcare workers, police and military personnel, government employees, and service workers. Also excluded are utility workers, essential workers, barangay officials, and accredited media practitioners. Business establishments not mentioned in the exemptions will also be temporarily closed. Police personnel are expected to guard the area to ensure the effective implementation of the lockdown. Here at Barangay 163 Zone 14, officials say around o or over 1,000 families will be affected by the hard lockdown. The barangay says they are preparing food packs for the residents, especially the poorest of the poor. We talked to some residents and here's what they have to say on this. Okay lang po sa amin para po maiwasan po yung pagdami ng, mga, ng virus. Charles, uh, during the conduct of the lockdown, an unexpanded targeted COVID-19 testing will be conducted to, uh, to the residents. Meanwhile, as of yes or uh, as of June 16, Manila has a total of 1,854 COVID-19 cases, in which 1,167 are active cases. Charles, thanks for that, JC. That was JC Cosico reporting live from Manila. MRT3 will conduct rapid testing on all maintenance workers today. That's after 15 depot personnel tested positive for COVID-19. MRT3 Director for Operations Michael Capati says the maintenance facility will undergo thorough disinfection. MRT3 management also vowed to implement additional health protocols to limit the access of maintenance personnel to the train stations. Here are other headlines we are keeping our eyes on. The National Center for Mental Health is now COVID-free. The center says 88 employees and 34 patients have recovered. However, seven patients have died. U.S. Ambassador to Manila, Song Kim, expresses concern over the conviction of Rappler CEO Maria Ressa. In a tweet, the diplomat cited the shared commitment of the U.S. and the Philippines to freedom of expression. And thousands line up for COVID-19 testing in Beijing as the city scrambles to contain a fresh outbreak. Beijing health officials have recorded over 130 confirmed cases since June 11. This is the worst resurgence of the disease in the city since early February. For more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star and Business World Online. You can also visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. Catch One News on the Signal Play app as well, as you can register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com so you can stream One News live anytime, anywhere. I'm Charles Lejano. We are One News.